Uh, we are uh, talking about uh, something so important as you head back to school, and it's something we don't want to think about, Leanne, but you know what? No. Uh, it, it's just a reality, and we've been hearing about it in news stories. I'm glad it's, it's been raised in awareness. Uh, Magic 100 has their anti-bullying campaign, which uh, they're very committed to. Bully proofing your children as they head back to school. There's a lot of stress heading back to school, and with us, a uh, couple of experts on this topic, Denise Therens and also uh, Janet Heffernan from Stronger You. Welcome to both of you. Thank, Thank you for thank being you for here. Us. You have a big event going on on Saturday. Tell us about that first. Yeah, it's um, August 24th, Saturday from 9 to 1 mm -hmm. in Barhaven um, at the Crossfield Field. It's um, our back to school um, bully proofing and um, self protection day. And we want everyone to come. We're okay. going to have a lot, a lot of workshops and demos. Okay, good. So, and we, you know, we're going to talk a little bit about the physical bullying that happens. Mm -hmm. I think we're discovering that the psychological might even be worse these days, and we'll get to that in a moment. I do want to start talking about how children don't have boundaries like adults do. I respect Leanne's mm -hmm. space because I'm afraid of her, first of all. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but no, because there's respect there as an adult, and, you know, you have this understanding. Kids, not so much and not always, right? Absolutely. So I'm going to put this down. Uh, maybe we can run Leanne through an exercise. Let's say that I'm a pestilent boy, not such a stretch, and no. I've decided that, you know what? I'm, I'm sitting here. Yes, yes. being nice, and I'm she's doing her homework. I'm looking at the beautiful, okay, yeah. I'm real, all right. Yeah. I'm doing her <laughs> now, if I, if I grab her arm and say, you know, like, we're going, you know, come with me or whatever, or I like, you're just a dumb girl, something, you know, yeah. whatever mm, bullies yeah. say, what is her move here? Yeah. So I'm, there's a couple of ideas that we like to give the kids. The first one is we'd like you to not get grabbed at all in the first place. So we teach something called being twitchy. So as soon as Jeff goes to reach from you, you're just going to move your arm out of the way so that he can't take you. Oh, you, you moved it in. Okay. You moved away from him. <laughs> you just want to hit him. I know. Oh, okay. I yeah. see. I see. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, right, so that's, that's the first line. That's the first idea because we'd rather that kids didn't get grabbed at all. So just, so you just can to avoid that. forget it. Just, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Right? Just to move Assertive yourself out of the way. It. That's right. Okay. And then to add the voice in. Right? Because so, we spend so much time teaching the kids to be polite, which is really important. But there are times when it's not appropriate. And so if someone is going to put their hands on you, it would be a good time to speak up and say don't or stop or keep your hands off. Okay, I want to see how this works. Okay, I'm going to okay. try. Okay. I want you to do that, okay? Hey! I like that. See, See? it was strong, right? Yeah. yeah, and very straightforward, and that way we're kind of giving the children permission to use their voice and helping them sort out when times would be to not be completely polite. Your space is your boundary, and you can carve that out however you want. <laughs> <laughs> See me? I'm backing off instead yeah. of... Okay, so now let's say I am really, really belligerent, and I'm okay. not yeah. taking no and for an answer. And you put hands on. Now, Perfect. hands on. This is, a, this is a pretty serious situation. Okay. But it occurs. Okay, right. so no, I can't I get caught. I don't taught. care. I've got okay. it. And you're strong. Oh, yeah. okay. So, yeah. so she's feeling like she's in a fair amount of danger here. Mm -hmm. The best possible thing that she can do is use one of her other weapons. So she has some yeah, yes. beautiful high right. heels, okay. nice okay. long legs. You can even slap to the head right. Right? or hit right. to the face. Okay. The shot. And that's going to be surprising nice. enough to give you, know, give you some so space. So you're okay with, with uh, setting that limit where because there's a there's a rule in schools, right? I can't actually yeah, as a yeah, kid. Exactly, yeah. So it really depends on how much danger is this child in. In general, in the schoolyard, what happens is it's not physical. So we need to give them okay. the tools of using their voice and helping to help other children to step in and intervene. We're if doing they're off the school property and there's physical contact, oh, they may need to use a little bit more force. Okay. I mean, there's so much to touch on on this subject, right? Because as parents, yeah. you're teaching them to discuss yes. and to, yes. you know, bring yes. it out into the open and Absolutely. say, this doesn't feel, this is how I feel. Right. Uh, so yes. there's so much as to as for the children understanding where that line is drawn to go from one to the other. There's and no that's way. what you guys are yeah. going to do on Saturday. Exactly. Exactly. What Saturday we teach of the kids is our five things of self-defense. Think, yeah, run, fight, tell. And on Saturday when you come, we're going to um, give them the tools to go through any scenario they're through. Okay. All right. You know what? We could never do it justice in this interview that you have to go on the Saturday and really check it out.